and Romania. And Albania. I think every country in Europe can go socialist. We can import some sheep and cows. Give me give me the IEDC. We can actually remove illiteracy. Yeah, and actually get another civilian factory. I mean two Sicilies cannot go socialist. But I mean there's the SRI, right? And we're gonna I mean they're not really gonna have any backings too 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 much. I'd have to imagine. I know Bardic Commune and Dominion of India, we can maybe get them to peacefully unify as well, if that's in the decision tree. And we might make it a little bit harder for ourselves as well. We might just let Middle Africa collapse. But again, we'll we'll go we'll go through that um afterwards. Just kind of see what we can do. Because before, if you remember, um, for our 10,000 subscriber stream, we did do, um, what was it, the one-man Reichs Pact, where I tried to expel everybody from the Reichs Pact? This is like that, but going another step beyond, where we're basically going to be the only country in the Reichs Pact, but everyone else in Europe is against us. I think that could be fun. Or, or a fucking mess. <laughs> one way or the other. Okay, people are joining the Cairo Pact. So, I mean, the war with the Ottomans is going to be happening soon. Honduras has collapsed. That's okay. Hey, we have three boats. Are you an admiral? No, but we can get one. There we go. Okay, so we got the program here. Follow you up. I would like a civilian factory. I don't know why you require the Ottoman Empire to not exist. I feel like you should be able to do this, like, once Ottoman Empire and, and Egypt are at war, you should be able to take this focus, but... You know, what do I know? I'm just a simple man. A simple man living in Basra. And also Kuwait a little bit as well. Little update. Plantations. You actually just are, are good. You need cash drop uh, diversification. Which is here, okay. And he also gives us a 10% more consumer goods. Which, I mean, actually, is that that useful? Because we only have, like, three civilian factories. I mean, actually, we're at 36%. It actually takes two. You know what? Actually, that would be useful. We have 13 more days until you're ready to go. It's going to give us more stability. The 17,000 population. I mean, I guess it gives you a little bit of... I mean, it gives some, like, immediate manpower, but... I mean, I'll still take it, right? I don't think there's any reason to say no. We're not going to legislate freedoms right now. Just give, just give me a second on that. So since we encourage local production, we're going to go for cash crops. American Iscata. This is actually, I think, our first event we've also had. The senior people who have lived in the United States for decades. It is only with the outbreak of the Ville Creek and the Syrian genocide that they began to flee in large numbers. The United States, on the other side of the world, and so reluctant to involve itself in the affairs of Eurasia, seemed like a safe bet, and communities in Illinois swelled with their numbers. However, as the Great Depression ravaged the nation, throwing back many into poverty, a few former Syrian immigrants are looking back to Iraq. Entranced by our mesh of unity and support, pleaded by their priests. Thank you for the 432 population. I will definitely take it. Also, yeah, what was supposed to happen? Ah, eh, nah, fuck it. We're not even gonna worry about it. Something, something was supposed to happen, but, eh. It's okay. Right now, we're still taking in... God, such a bad penalty, man. And... More stability, war support. You give us more recruited population. Or you actually, or you make it actually worse. You can make it possibly worse. Hello, wild sheepy. How's my day going? It's, it's going well. It's going well. But yeah, let's get cash crop diversification in here. We can also expand you guys now. We got stability and a little bit more uh, manpower. Curtis and Claire War on the Ottoman Empire. I mean, I would support you, but I don't think that's, uh... Again, if you just waited, like, just a few weeks, Curtis Dan, you probably would have had a better shot at this. 
I'm, I'm going to say no to these two right now. Yeah, and you both are just good for us. I mean, it's 75 political power, a little bit more market liberal. Have you heard a new Millennium Dawn update? I have not seen a new Millennium Dawn update. I'm not I'm not too sure what they have changed there. I do I, I do want to go back to Millennium Dawn at some point. I don't know when exactly it would be. Oh, Zach Battle will no step back. That's good. But I don't know, again, I don't know when we will uh we will play. Uh, we'll play Millennium Dawn again. Most likely, I don't know who I would want to play as. Yeah, Curzon's having a bad time. And well, Grease is the Neon Taunt. That's cool. Hello, Grease. New nuclear missile and economy systems. Yeah, I think the economy in Millennium Dawn before was definitely busted. Like, for sure it was busted. Okay, the Kulman National Government is going to war on the left uh, KMT. So these guys have the... Hey, okay, no, they technically have two different flags. No, they actually have the exact same flag. We'll see. It got a little bit of KMT infighting. Notice Green South Pacific have focuses now. Also, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Got you done. Um... Give me ability. Let's add Indian bureaucracy, and we can also take these two now. But then it gives us maybe a few more civilian factories for 100 days. I'll take it. It allows us to maybe build one factory ourselves. Age of Nuclear War on the uh, Ottomans. So the big war has now begun. We've now got the Russian Isquata. That's definitely not how you say it. Syrian people first arrived in the city of numbers following the Treaty of Turkmenshi in 1828, when the border between Persia and the Russian Empire were formally drawn. A second wave arrived after the Vilta Creek, when many fled north across the Caucasus to escape the clutches of the Ottomans and the Kurds. Most settled in Yekimador and Rostov, while some went to Moscow after the end of the Russian Civil War. However, an increasing persecution by the Russian government has led many Assyrians to dream of a new Assyrian home further south. Thank you for the population. I do appreciate it. Not much, but it's something. I'll take it. Next up. 130 days. I'll take 130 days. So we're having a, we're having a few frame drops, but hopefully it's not looking too bad for us. And I wish I could just justify a war against the Ottomans. Or, I mean, we're, we want the owners to lose this war. Plutonia has joined. Yemen's joined. Jamal Shamir is now at war with a lot of people. They're not actually a puppet of um, the Ottomans, though. So we'll see how that kind of plays out in the long run. We might actually end up at war with the Cairo Pact. Depending on how uh, the situation advances forward. I don't think Jamal Shamir... We might see Hedges Revolt as well. I'm not too sure exactly what the requirements for them are. But I wouldn't be surprised to see them... Uh, kind of rise up. Okay, so we didn't join the Reich's Pact. I mean, that's okay. Basically means that... Um, Norway has no chance. I mean, if they just take Heil... I think Syria is actually about to capitulate. They're going to lose Amman in a moment. Okay, there's our bureaucracy. We do need to get rid of this penalty. Modify Syrian division by negative 15% recruited population. Is that really going to... Um... What's population stability? I I'm is this actually going to drop us down to 10%? Um, it honestly might, and that's hilarious. Also, you're doing a political power. We should probably spend it on something. Just like construction speed. It's fine. Unsurprisingly, Cedary doesn't have uh, crazy uh, choices here. I mean, the Ottomans are worth a lot of people. Georgia might get involved as well. I don't know about Greece. Okay, there's Armenia. 
I'll invest for the political power. And I'm thinking we might we might take the construction bonus, honestly. You know what? Give me the construction bonus. And Persia's actually making great headway into the Ottomans. Again, we do want the Ottomans to lose. The Ottomans losing means that we get more access to our focus stream. Also, we're dropping more frames. Why would that be? I'm going to just double check to see that I'm not, I'm not downloading anything. I shouldn't be. But, you know, just in case, right? Goes to Steam, downloads. Yeah, no, it, it looks fine. Go to war with them? I would like to go to war with them. The problem is that also... Okay, I'd probably try to clear war in Persia. The problem is that I can't justify a war goal. I would like to justify a war goal, which is not really possible right now. Syria's taken over. Jamal Shamir. How is the Syria still alive? Unless Syria already capitulated, which they might have. Any allies somebody fighting? We're already in the Entente. Um, so the answer is like not really. We can invade these people afterwards. Um, like once the Ottoman Empire loses the war, we're able to um, put pressure on. Actually, well, here's here's a weird thing. You give us a cost is barely against the Ottomans. But yeah, we can't... You know what? I think this actually might be a little bit broken. With what manpower? Oh, you know. This is zero. You give us a cost is barely against them. Can't claim war against the Ottoman Empire. But in order for us to do, have, be able to attack the Ottoman Empire, we need the Ottoman Empire to not exist. It gives us whoever controls it. Maybe you have to invade Iraq. Persia, maybe? I'm actually not too sure who it would be. Okay, Anshing breaks from the Fedians. By the way, what is South Africa doing? They are liberal. So, yeah, they're going to stay in the Entente, which is nice. We can curb. We can remove patriarchal dictatorship. Yeah, we're no longer a dictatorship of the patriarch. We're just a dictatorship of Europe. Or of, of the, the British Empire. Yeah, so just, it's just who against whoever owns the... I'm guessing it's whoever owns... Uh, Kirkuk? Which is... One of the... This guy. Whoever owns this area. Okay. It's like, I would like to join the war. Owen Gun, we're gonna say no to you. Give me the construction. It's being 98 days is pretty cheap. We currently now border Persia. Hello, uh, Magna. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Yes, right is now war with Italian again. Um, Legionnaire Italy shouldn't be too hard of a fight. Legionnaire Italy basically has no allies. So craft the time, gotta go. Okay, have a great day, uh, Wild. This will all be on YouTube afterwards if you wanna catch up, so. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, I would like to import a steel. We, we probably sh No, I still have no factories. Oh, no, we require zero. Okay, we can actually do a land uh, trade there. Excellent. We'll trade with the Russians. Because me, me and Russia, we shouldn't have any reason to oppose one another. Okay, but the Ottoman Empire... I mean, if the Ottoman Empire wins, we'll just force this event to fire anyways. Um, yeah, the Ottoman Empire does not exist. I'm assuming that when you are, like, the country of Turkey, I don't believe they are the Ottoman tag. But they, they actually might be. I don't quite remember, to be honest with you. I mean, they have Baghdad, but they are doing very poorly, I would say. 
Albania then is Syria. What's next, Riga? Hell yeah, brother. Now, next up is Germany. Surprisingly enough, it goes from Albania, Syria, Germany. Let me see. I want to look at the war here. Somehow, Syria has not collapsed. I'm guessing Jerusalem is a Syrian core. Yeah, it is. If they lose Jerusalem, I think that'll be the end for them. Okay, there's uh, Cyprus in the war now. Well, you guys are doing all right, I would say. Come the national government is that more more people. Hunan clique. And what do we research next? Honestly, give me more than 39 tech. We now have 3,000 guns. I mean, that still seems okay. I'm going to delete... No, we'll just we'll keep these, these uh, things up. Give me... Two... We can actually afford three units. Thing is that we have no actual manpower. Which some would say might be an issue but I'm, I'm not a coward you don't need people to fight a war <laughs> depending on how you want to look at it okay i mean persia is now immediately starting to lose against uh the ottomans again which is a little bit disappointing it would be nice if jamal shamir would collapse uh that way syria nesh hasa yemen would have more i guess maneuverability i don't i don't know exactly what the wording i want to use there more options, I guess. Be more recruit, uh, recruit population. Okay, we're now only in negative 25, so we should be getting more troops soon. Because okay, you're not actually at war. Yeah, you're not actually at war with the Ottomans. You're just at war with Jamal Shamir. But after that, I think you're going to very quickly join up with the Cairo Pact. Okay, we also have a war. Tibet is just fighting against us. I mean, I know Tibet. I think they can invade. No, wait. What the fuck is... What, what is Tibet doing? I have... Absolutely no idea what Tibet could possibly be doing to be considered a war against us. Maybe it's a war against Nepal? Or against, like, for Sikkim? I, I have no idea, to be quite. Creating an empire? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm sure they got this. Can we, we can actually go to the pro mobilization. We'll take it. War support's going up a, a nice amount. Okay, again, you just need to take Hyel. Venezuela's gone cynicalist. They'll probably do any international soon. I mean, the CSA is doing very, very well for themselves. There's no doubt of, uh, about that. And what? It's already 39. Like, the second Vil Creek is going to be happening very, very soon. And also, Carl is doing a fantastic job. You love to see it. Carlos, of course, um, can join with the Entente. If they're in the Entente, they give you basically a front line directly with the uh, Commune of France. And we also technically have Belgium as well. We'll see how it goes. Cyprus actually landed troops in Anatolia. It should distract... Um, it should distract Ottoman troops from at least the Persian or the Syrian front. Okay, Carlos have... Yeah, Carlos are going to win. They shouldn't lose against the... Um, Actually, I will take you now. They should not lose in any capacity to CNT. But I've seen the AI flub some major uh, wars before. So I'm not going to say that it's impossible. It's still very much a possibility. But I believe in them a little bit more than that. Okay, you guys are doing a new economy. I'm guessing they're going to go to war like Bhutan. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense for them being considered to justify a war against us. Because everything else just seems absolutely fucking absurd. Excavation is garbage here. I mean, we could go for the... You know what? We might actually want to go for the... Next, no, we want to go for the artillery. But I think after this, we might actually want to go for the Owen gun. So, like, we're not going to have a big army. 
five divisions total, which means we'll probably end up wanting to create like 40 combat with units at some point. Because I know that 20 combat with is no longer meta. I think it's like 32 or something like that, but I have not looked too heavily into it, which I probably should have. But I have not done so. Frenchman defense. High consumption. I mean, night attack? Actually, how, how big is the penalty for a night attack? Is it 50%? I don't actually quite remember. Honestly, give me defense. We we're not going to have a lot of manpower to play around with, so I think this makes sense for us. You give us one infrastructure. I think that's basically garbage. Let's do this focus. It's got a beautiful picture of a cow. Because cows are cool animals. Also, I think the Ottomans are going to win. Even though I've, I really thought there was a chance that they would get their shit kicked in. So I think once this focus is done, we're going to cheat, quote-unquote, a little bit. Just to kind of make the playthrough, I think, a little bit more interesting for us. Namely, we're going to invade the Ottoman Empire. 